Let's go. Hey everybody, this is TJ Cates with your weekly entertainment update for DeSoto County Newsroom. I'm coming to you from my office down on Music Row, Historic Music Row. This used to be Marty Robbins' office, Cletus T. Judd's office. Now it's my office. I'm in the sound booth right now. We record a lot of music here. The Mandrells are downstairs from me. Cowboy Troy is right down the hall. Renegade Radio. Lots of big things. Big Machine Records, Curb Records. There's all kind of activity around here. You go outside the door and you never know who's going to walk up and down music row at any point so if you're ever in town let me know and i'll show you around music row i'd love to see my DeSoto county people up here i'm going to be in DeSoto county in a couple weeks we're going to film some entertainment so if you have some things that are going on entertainment wise in DeSoto county be sure and hit us up at desotacountynewsroom.com and just let us know about it let's get right into the entertainment if you're keeping up with the nashville series we enjoy having rachel bilson walk around nashville she joined her uh, previous co-star from the OC, Chris Carmack, he plays Will, and it's going to be fun to watch them together this season. Shania Twain was on stage this morning, and uh, she was up in New York City. She has her first album coming out in 15 years, and we're really excited about that. And it is titled, Life's About to Get Good, so Shania Twain's making a comeback. We love seeing country people come back, but and we also love to see artists that are new but what we were amazed by was the new list that just came out by Forbes magazine, the highest paid celebrities in 2017. And leading the top is Garth Brooks. He made $60 million in 2017. Kenny Chesney, $42.5 million. Luke Bryan, I don't know who's buying his tickets, just kidding, is a $42 million. Dolly Parton, which I would think would be on top, but she's made $37 million. I believe that's just off of her music and tours, not so much her theme park, Dollywood. Toby Keith is still in the game at 34.5, which is pretty exciting. He loves the troops, does all traveling. Florida Georgia Line, I'm going to leave that one alone. Somehow they made 34.5 million. And uh, they are a big machine record label group, so I guess that's how. And Jason Aldean is kind of falling off. He only made 32 million. So let's talk about what's happening in DeSoto County right now. We have the new place that everybody's talking about. It's called Catfish Blues down in Hernando. They have Skylar Anderson. Now, Skylar Anderson, if you keep up with him on social media, he is performing quite a bit up in Nashville. He plays at Tootsies and Rippies and all the fun places on Broadway. He plays quite a bit in Jackson, Tennessee. He's going to be playing there at Catfish Blues, a new place everybody's talking about. Like I said, they have a great menu and a great stage. So go in there, happy hour from 3 to 7, and you're going to be able to catch Skylar on stage at 9 o'clock. Tell him that TJ Cates and the Soda County Newsroom sent you. He will be sure and get a selfie with you. He loves his fans. Now, one of our favorite bands playing around Memphis and especially DeSoto County is called the Dantones. They play at the Thirsty Lizard. Sometimes they play at Huey's, but this weekend on Friday from 5 to 9, they're playing Bike Night at Southern Thunder. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been DeSotoCountyNewsroom.com. I'm TJ Cates in charge of the entertainment update every week. We do this every single Friday. Please go to DeSotoCountyNewsroom.com on our Facebook page and give us a like. My name is TJ Cates. And you can look me up on all social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, and on the website for DeSotoCountyNewsroom.com. We'll be back in town in a couple weeks in DeSoto County. We're going to pick up some entertainment. Don't forget to forward us your entertainment for DeSoto County. And also, if there's any country music stars that you want me to follow and uh, get you some entertainment news on them, just let me know. Thanks so much. This has been TJ Cates with DeSotoCountyNewsroom.com. Let's go.